Hi, Todd Warren along with Josh Marshes here in the Forecast Center as we are monitoring showers and thunderstorms across the Oracle Tech. A little after 2.30 this afternoon recording this. Give you a quick uh, video update on the activity across the region. Uh, we are looking at some uh, scattered showers, thunder showers here in northwest Louisiana and east Texas. Uh, this activity, as of right now, not really posing much of a threat. Uh, main thing with this is going to be a, the brief heavy downpour and the occasional uh, bolt of lightning. Main threat is going to come from this line of thunderstorms, which is uh, making its way into southwest Arkansas. Uh, already has moved through most of McCurtain County and also is making its way into northeast Texas. You can see the line does extend back into the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and then into central Texas. It's going to be this evening before this line makes it as far east as Shreveport uh, and obviously will arrive a bit sooner in the Texarkana area. Flash flood warning? Uh, flash flood warning? We do have a flash flood warning that has just been issued by the uh, National Weather Service. It's in effect uh, until 5.30 p.m., basically for McCurtain County, which has been receiving some heavy rain from this uh, uh, cluster of thunderstorms. Actually, you can see it just popped on the radar for parts of McCurtain and Red River counties here, where the rain is uh, going to be uh, letting up here pretty soon, but they have seen some rather heavy rainfall totals here uh, recently. Also, with this gust of, uh, with this line of storms, recently had a gust in the Queen of over 40 miles per hour, and that will make it its way into Howard County here uh, relatively shortly. Did have some uh, wind damage in, as far as trees down, I believe, in the roof, Oklahoma, Texas, Oklahoma area. That's in McCurtain County, three miles northeast of roof there in the western sections of uh, McCurtain County. That's as a result of this main line. So that's what we're kind of looking at as far as the activity across the area as uh, we uh, show you, first of all, the, the potential timing here as we'll kind of go through the uh, what we have right now. The tornado watch continues for all of southwest Arkansas. Uh, it looks like the threat will be wrapping up soon for McCurtain County as the line moves to your east and southeast. Uh, northeast Texas areas in red, including Bossier and Caddo Parishes in northwest Louisiana. We do have a tornado watch that's in effect until uh, 8 p.m. A look at a combination of Futurecast and the high resolution rapid refresh model and move this forward to 6 p.m. And you can see it does show the line approaching Texture Canada by then. Actually, could see it move into Texture Canada a bit before that. Uh, I would say sometime uh, 4. 35 o'clock, maybe an hour faster than what's being depicted here uh, with uh, the models. And you can see that activity does extend uh, back to the south and west. I move this forward. You can see the line continues to march its way eastward, probably arriving in Shreveport. Uh, looks like mid evening, mid to late evening, we'll see it move into the Shreveport area. Uh, latest run of the HR model, which goes out a little bit farther than the one I just showed you, goes out until 10 p.m., shows at 10 p.m as far as the possible timing uh, and arrival, as far as the line itself in Shreveport. Then we would see things uh, gradually shift to the east as we go through the overnight hours tonight and into uh, tomorrow. So that's uh, uh, the latest on the potential timing. Again, things will be at their peak late this afternoon, going into the uh, early evening hours. And as far as the uh, threats that we're looking at, uh, <coughs> obviously the uh, main threat will be the damaging straight line winds. Uh, that we would be seeing from this activity uh, but also looking at the few spots where we could see some localized hail and it does look like the wind threat may be highest over northeast texas southwest arkansas and the northern sections of northeast or northwest louisiana here as this line moves in sooner when the atmosphere is a bit more unstable uh, and obviously we're also looking at that at that hail threat that i mentioned and the potential for some heavy rain in fact the latest uh, numbers from futurecast as far as rainfall potential uh, shows uh, the biggest concentration of the heaviest rain across the northern sections of the area now uh, generally speaking half an inch to an inch all right really depends on how many of these big uh, cells you have move over you if you get uh, you know a large area moving over the same area in terms of large area in terms of size of the uh, uh, line that's moving over a particular area you could see a few isolated totals like you're seeing here these yellow and orange areas where we could pick up a quick two three inches of rainfall hence the uh, flash flooding threat which also is something that we'll be watching for so that is the latest let me go back to the radar one more time and show you what we're looking at as uh, overall view you can see as of 236 scattered showers a little bit of uh, a lightning threat with this activity but it has not shown uh, signs of strengthening too much even though we are heading into the uh, 
a heat of the afternoon. Main threat is going to be with this line of thunderstorms that now extends from about the Queen to Clarksville back towards Dallas and into central Texas. This line will slowly work its way towards the east, will mainly pose a damaging wind threat. A few embedded tornadoes will be possible and also a very heavy rain threat in addition to some uh, hail. Also all threats that we'll be watching for. But keep in mind once again that we do have a tornado watch that is in effect in advance of this line until 8 o'clock.